वेलकम बैक वेलकम बैक हैप्पी संडे हैप्पी संडे सो मेरे नए फोन से डिप्लांग का बास कम आउट लास्ट नाइट एंड शी इज नॉट टू हैप्पी बेकार है ब्रोक पॉकेट प्लांग का दिमाग आला बेग टिकेट सोमा दे माला आक्स विशे बाय प्लेन टिकेट फिर शिक देम कम आ न्यू या माय गॉड प्लांग का व्हाट हैपेन टू नो नो पर्स आई थॉट द प्लांग का दे मे हैव देम पर्स नो सर बट एनीवे प्लांग का बास For somebody way for me as a person that have planned a lot of event and some really big one Let me tell you something whoever tell you to book Amazora for this event don't have your best interest Whoever tell you to book Amazora for this event don't have your best interest This is my reason why Whoever tell you about Amazura knows that Amazura does not come with chairs, table, fork, spoon, knife, and everything like that. It also does not provide food, and you know how to park in there, right? Amazura is a nightclub. It's a big warehouse where they turn into a nightclub where they keep a lot of stage show. So it's just a standing event alone. You just turn up. Some people sit up on chair and they might eat up on a little box or something like that. But it's not an elegant place where you can go and have an elegant event, right? Whoever book this place for you, them expect to make money and them expect for them friend make some money. So from why sound like a you they say you they try to make him seem like a lotty and find a place for you. If that's the case, the lotty know say she wanna go be the caterer, so she know say she wanna go near my food. Lotty and no say she wanna go call in one of her friend them with the table and the chair them, <coughs> and them wanna go near my food. She know say she also wanna go call in some decorator and them wanna go near my food. Amazura was not the right place for you do this whatever you did do, Dana. It should have been another place. A lot of the places in New York um, that having elegant events. They're running ahead for about eighty and eighty-five dollar per person. That include parking. That include the food and light drinks. Light drinks, so maybe sodas and stuff like that. If you want your liquor, you have to go bring in your own liquor. But that's between eighty and eighty-five dollar um ahead, right? And if you say you want bring in couple of artists and you want make a food off of it, you could have done that. And you could have even done that where you can charge the people the maybe a hundred and twenty-five dollars. That would have been more reasonable because a eighty-five dollar plate. So each person really you'd pay eighty-five dollar for eighty eighty-five dollar for, and you got charge a extra what is that twenty thirty about thirty-five dollar forty dollar pan it. So you'd have forty dollar in your pa- your pocket for for pay artists and also at the end of the night you can go home with a liquor money in your pocket. So me I go say it again. Amazura was not a place for of this event that you were talking about. There's a lot of other places in Queens. You have the Royal Banquet. You have a bunch of them. All you have to do is Google them and you call up the people. Them and the people them tell you the price. Some of them you can have all five hundred people in there. So I, I mean, me not understand why you do it at Amazura. The other thing we may have to say is that. This is a event where they meet your donors for the first time in New York. Why make it a money making thing for you? Why everything has to be a money making thing, Dana? Couldn't you simply come up and meet your people them who have been donating to your charity for so many years? Couldn't you, you have to come and take more money out of them pocket? This is why I don't understand why people now sit down and look on this woman and say this woman is wicked, you know. And this um, woman is all about money and all about for she, you know. Imagine some of these donors want day to day them pay for your son, your younger son for go to school for your whole year for go to private school. These are the people that you ask to pay for come see you, you know, Dana. These are the people that have been donating to your charity for so many years, and you they come and you know see the people them excited to see you and want to see you, and you couldn't say, let me put on a little event and make them come see me. You could have even get a park, a summertime in New York, you know. All you had to do was 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 um get a permit for the space. You could have drop a tent and have a nice thing at a regular local park with your own tent. All you'd have to do is pay for the tent and the chair. Chairs and tables, and it would have been nicer than this expensive place where you go take, Dana. Me hear Curly say something this morning. By the time you finish this event, it'll go run you about a hundred thousand. 
And you know, who are going to come out of it with, the, with, come out of this with benefit? Loti and when they cook the food, whoever they decorate it, they, of course, the, the event promoter, and whoever they, they, they rent to the chairs and the tables and all of them stuff there, and the few artists them where come. If you continue with this place here, you now come out of it with the money. Unless if people start decide to pay for artists for you and people decide to, have to pay for the table and the chair them for you and stuff, that's the only way you come out with some money in your pocket. The $200, it is a little bit too much, but not even that I go save you. With the amount of money where I go pay for table, chairs, artists, food, and every other little nicks, nicks, and little liquor where you need to buy, $200 ahead. You're not gonna come out of it. You don't need to charge the people them at least $400 for come out with some money in your pocket. I'm being honest to you. So, right now, you see what they're going and that's why you come out yesterday the way that you did. Because if you're gonna end up losing, whoever mentioned this place to you and said, Do it here, are wicked to you. They're wicked to you, but you're also wicked because you're damn greedy. But me not feel sorry for the plank of them. I don't feel sorry because a lot of them are going to run go. And then next month in the house, I go go in a foreclosure. Una idiot. Me not pay $200 for go see this woman. When me donate too much money for her for over the years. Me have to go buy clothes for go. Me have to go find parking. Me have to go, if me have come from another state, me have to go find hotel. Me have to go do this. But by the way, me see one of the plank of them say, a bunch of, a bunch of them are going to drive up in our drive come from Florida. And... Them want to go Miss Loti and also go get dressed and put on their makeup and after them go drive back down to Florida. Planka, once again, I go ask you, know, what happened to the purse? Me can drive in a one car for 20 and 21 hours from another state to come all the way to another state. Then go go fresh up and go party and then jump back in the car and go drive for another 20 hours. No, sir! Me dear! Me dear! Me see me go one state over one little event and me and my husband get out in. I spend the night and wake up when we're ready to come away the next day. But I will not go home and stay. No, sir. Plank of what to the purse. You don't make the woman you out all the money. <laughs> but anyway, Donna, I don't feel sorry for you. Because when Curly, when they have no event, and your dirty plank of bloggers them over there, did nothing and put down the woman event and even call the place and tell the place if you don't rent Curly the place for have our event. You know, we're very wicked to her. So all the dragging where you go get past social media over fear event right now, I'm going to drag you because you deserve it. Because not one time did you come out and tell your dirty plank of bloggers them to stop it. Them troll the woman, them call the place, them did all kind of stuff. And thank God, Curly even turn out good. It turn out good, but if I wait for you and your plank of them, only did one the woman something for flop and it was her birthday she was doing it for. You're not doing this for your birthday, you're just doing it to make money. That's what you don't do it for. You are a wicked woman, and I don't wish you any bad, but anything would happen right now, and if the plank of them decide to spend a dollar and come support you, I wouldn't even be mad at them, because all you do is they pick out the people them, yeah. They pick out, they pick out the people them, yeah. Me sit down here, they laugh, because I don't know why anybody would have rent Amazura. Umaz Amazura, you know, to the left and to the right, there's a, there's a shelter. You know what is a shelter where they have basically people where they don't live now, eh? homeless people. Right in front of it, I'm a lot of crackhead hang out. So them sit down right there and smoke up them, whatever them soak up. Right, it's, it's at the middle of the ghetto. If you can go online and search, the amount of shooting we go on at Amazora. And a lot of time people come out after partying and carrying out there. Eh? Because there's no parking, they don't provide parking. You have to go up on the local street or park. And people know that, so what them do? You see, at night when they have big events, at them, the time that the thief in boy, they go come out. Them either them broke in your car and then thief your car gang and scrap it. So I'm gonna advise a lot of uno where they go, uno better take Uber for everyone I come from. Because I'm gonna come out and a car and go gone. Why would you go to a place like that? And you say you're a big shot and you're a millionaire. If you have an event, why? <laughs> anyway, people want to tell me, I want to think one love.